Okay, so I'm just testing if the micro SD works. I just plugged in a micro SD card. Well, right here. The micro SD card slot. Dang. And the USB loaded with some APKs, so I can show you how to install them. You can just go to Google, search on any app, followed by an APK, and that's pretty much a download file. Okay, so it doesn't know which one it's going through, so I'll unplug my USB to see if the micro SD works. Let's go back. Okay, so it looks pretty. Yep, so we know that works. So now we just switch them off. Now I'll be installing an APK file of Skype and a voice recorder so I can test out if other hardware such as a webcam or mic works. File. All right, we'll do Skype first because a webcam is basically a mic and oh, I'm parsing the package. Let's try easy voice recorder. All right, so Skype isn't gonna work. I'll try getting in another I mean, not Skype, Google camera doesn't work. Okay, so as to install, so I'll open that. Okay, sure. Okay, so, okay, what happens if I press record now? Come on, get down. Okay, so I'll try, it's not going to record at the bottom, so I'll get a mouse and hopefully that would work. Okay, so I'll just go in here, press record. Yep, nothing happens. All right, let's plug in the mic now. Oh, it's this black one. I highly doubt this would work because it has a lot of drivers that this box probably can't install. It's probably just Windows only driver. But I guess it works on the Wii, so it might, it might work. All right, let's go to record. Okay, testing, oh, wow, you can see that bar move. So this actually does work. I'll, I'll go try connecting the webcam. This is actually pretty exciting. Now, let's pause that. Done. Done, but now I go to player. Now I just wonder where they is. Oh, uh, I just saw it for a second. Where did it go? Okay. Okay, so it stores it on the CIK box itself. I'll just go ahead and try to find it again. Okay, guess not. Whatever. I just thought it might store it on the USB because that makes more sense. So now I installed ES File Explorer, which basically looks through all the files in any Android device. So basically the CNA TV, it's an Android app. So if I can somehow rip that, I can get, I can stream on any Android device, which would be extremely useful. Oh wow. It, I, I, I think, okay. It's not there, it's okay. I have it on my USB, I'll just install it again. The heck, it's blank again. Uh, this always works. Just reboot it. Oof. This is actually so weird. If I go into file manager or whatever, turn it off and turn it back on. It starts off wherever I left off. So I guess this power button is really just like a sleep, but like, it just cuts the signal, I guess. So I guess I'm gonna have to unplug and replug. Okay, there we go. Okay, I'm just gonna wait for this unblur. 
file manager I just go to the APK file of ES Explorer on my USB or right here oops that was the thing we couldn't install before okay I have, feel, I have the feeling that every once in a while the CK box deletes every application that didn't come from the App Store, which is very limited. Okay. Nope, don't need anything. So you really can't use this with the remote because it requires like clicking and dragging, which you can't really do for remote. I'm just gonna plug a mouse in. Long press click and drag zoom. Okay. So the I don't know the dimensions are it's kind of messed up. But I I don't know someone should try this. Just look around the files and look for the CNA TV. That's not it. And just go into Android. Oh, I'll go back all the way back to the root. Oh, that's not. Okay, let's see this. I'll go straight to applications again. Ex Yes Explorer should be there. Oh, there it is. What the heck? All right. Wait, that that can't be everything. I remember there being a lot more stuff here. Oh, there we go. Okay, so this is like the root of the device. There's a crap load of files. I tried moving all of this to an external hard drive, but CIK is some sort of system that stops you from doing that. I left it on for a couple hours and it just kept calculating how much how many gigs I have to move and it ended up in like a couple terabytes which is impossible considering this thing has two gigs of memory. So I don't know, you, you know someone should do this and look around and look for the CNA files and try moving that to another Android device. Hopefully that would mean you could copy this and <laughs> the device is pretty useless. Okay. Okay, so I'll just show you guys what the App Store looks like. Oh, well, first off, there's all this stuff. Home health and home phone are like features that aren't enabled yet, so they don't work. CIK TV is just like info, like CI, like it's just like CIK's own channel, which all these useless tutorials for old people that don't know how to do anything. I'm not sure late TV works either. Okay, so I guess it's just like, oh yeah, I see. This is. Basically, it lets you play like every movie, but you have to pay extra. It's like a separate app. So we can ignore this. Another thing that the box comes with is Gia Gia Sports. A total knockoff off Wii Sports. Like, look at that. That's a dark, funny baseball catch up success. Let's see what else they have. Badminton, Charm of Fitness Exercises. Tennis, one challenging game. Require power and skills. Funny golf, grateful experience in competition. Bowling, one of the most popular casual games. Casual. Outdoor stadium, timing rush. So right now it's just, see, that's what I mean. Like, I think everything gets deleted every once in a while. So now it's just reloading all of the files. Dart, unfold a vigorous mass campaign for Dart game. Alright, so I'll just come back. Oh, actually, no. So instead, uh, it doesn't have Bluetooth or anything, the CIK box. So the only way you can attach external controllers is by downloading an app called GIGI Controller. And what that does, it... Basically, your phone and the CIK box have to be on the same router network. And... It, uh, it, it, here, you, you see. Here's what it looks like. And then you click play. And you have is like a really badly made controller that also has the exact same key as a Wii. And look at that, Pasu. Okay. So you go into settings. Mobile control. If you didn't already have the app, just hit this and get it on Android or 
iOS, just scan that with any scanning program. It takes you to their web page. We just download the thing. Or you can go into the Play Store, App Store. I already, I'm, I already have it, so I'm gonna go to Mobile Control, connect cell phone. And that's just searching. All right, so there's my phone. Okay, now I just can start the game. And over here you see that the light's on. Player two, I think. Now this is pretty dumb. I can't. I can't. I'm, I'm pretty sure this uh, like it just doesn't work. Everything's linked, but you really can't do anything. Yeah, I'll go ahead and try the phone again. Nothing. Badminton. Let's see if I can get past the loading screen. Press A. Yep, so this doesn't work. The thing's vibrating. Shows a connection like, but it actually doesn't do anything. They're just trying to like oh well I can use I can use the remote. It does this remote, so single player. Okay, whatever. And now let's see. It'd also be really stupid if this works, because imagine using your phone as a Wii remote, you're like swinging it. Easy way to break your phone. Alright, so, ugh, serve. And also because the signal is getting sent to your router and back to the box, and because Wi-Fi is really slow, there's going to be a huge delay, so there's really no point in playing this game. So yeah, that's pretty much my tutorial on everything about the CIK box. I'll post more when I learn more, but I don't think I will. And so yeah, have fun.